today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, I am Lisa with hair in my face. My name is Lisa and I'm a cruelty for YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content. And today it's time for first impression. I don't do that many first impressions anymore because I don't shop that much makeup. But today I'm doing a first impression with one of my absolute favorite brands and that is Kaleidos. And I get some PR from Kaleidos, this flower pan collection that I'm doing a first impression on today. I haven't gotten PR, uh, I have bought this all on my own, <laughs> for my own money. So we are going to test out the palette today, the flower pan palette. That looks like this, I, it's a mirror on the back and uh, yeah. We're going to test out this and then I'm also going to swatch the two lip kits. I bought both of the lip kits because I love Kaleidos lip sticks. So I don't know much about them. <laughs> it's this one and I should be more prepared maybe. And it's this one and this has reds in it. So that's for me. This I think is more neutrals. And I'm going to swatch all of these today. I think it will look crazy with like my eye makeup, but same time you're at my channel. Nothing ever matches. So I'm just going to hop into this. Maybe you want to see the palette. So it's a nine pan palette. They haven't done this format. And because this is a new opening, I, I don't like this. You like push the lid up like that and you can take it off. This is a pet peeve of mine. I like don't, what am I supposed to do with this? Um, I don't know. And it's a mirror here. It's like, I'm going to use this. Then I would like to have the palette with it, but it is what it is. So it's a nine pan palette and I just love the mix of the green and the pink and it feels like this end is 420 of melt and this is like a little bit of millennial pinks from melt and I am so happy for that because I like those palettes but I don't want to buy them so I bought this instead so yeah I'm going to do a look with this today and I'm going to do two different eyes so I'm going to uh, I hate this thing a green eye and then a pinkish with like I think this is an inner corner highlight I don't know we'll just have to wait and see so I'll prime my eyes and then we get started and I am afraid this video can be pretty long um <laughs> But just for me saying that, I guess it probably will not be because that's like always the case. So I will just pop off the lid, this stupid idea. And I think if we start with my green eye, I will use this, this, these four colors. I think I will take this one in my inner corners. And I think I will... We'll just have to wait and see, but maybe I will do one eye at a time. So I will start with Golden Age in my crease and then take Earth Ship to deepen it down and take it out here. So it feels strange to hold the palette without the mirror. I like don't get why, why you do a palette like this. So I'm taking Golden Age. And as I said, I didn't receive this in PR. I bought it on release day and it was so annoying. I It re did release pretty early <laughs> in Sweden. Um, they did this release so it will suit the US. So I think it released at 5 a.m. but I am awake at that time so no problems for me, but the release. Now I haven't bought like <laughs> that many releases because I usually get things in PR. 
But I was at the site when uh, the release went live, when when they released it, and did this come with a dresser? Okay. So far, I like this. Uh, did this did come with a dresser? And I was like, okay, I, I don't want to buy the dresser because I don't have anywhere to put it, and it's my style but I want everything else they also released like a lip mask with this that I really did want and uh, I was taking the full collection in my cart and I was going to pay and when I was like clicking on pay it sold out so I was like okay I just uh, buy the dresser instead then and the full collection, so I went back, put the whole collection with the dresser in my cart, was going to press pay, and it sold out. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, so I'm going in with Earthship, and I think I'll deepen down my crease just out here. I'll start with that. Uh, so I did put with the dresser in my cart. And then, you know what, it was sold out and I was like, what the hell is going on? And they also had, if you were trying to buy it on release or if you did buy it on release, they had like a little pop-up thing that you like, if you buy for, I think it was $50, you get these tattoo for free. And if you buy for $100, you get the lip mask for free. And that little pop-up, it was going on my nerves. It was crazy. Uh, but so I didn't get it with the dresser and I was like, okay, I, I need this in my life. So I did go back. I bought the palette separately and the lip kits separately. And I got the tattoos, but not the lip mask. But I was like, okay, what the fuck? If, if I don't get the lip mask, I can buy it later. And uh, I did pay everything and then I went back to the site and everything was in stock again. So they did restock during the release. I have never uh, experienced that before. It wasn't a good release. I don't know if the releases is normally like that, but I don't think because I did read on their Instagram that uh, not men was super pleased. Okay, I'm going to take the earth ship, the dark green put it out here but I got the things that I wanted I just wanted a lip mask as well but yeah, it is what it is okay so far I'm liking this I have nothing to complain about I really like the shade that I have in my Crease. I'm just going to take it a little bit down here as well. I really like it. I don't know though if I think it as opaque as it usually is, but nothing to complain about so far. And for the rest of my lid I will take Sun Gazer, this one, and hopefully this will look really good. I have it. Is this a glitter? Hmm, or is it? We will see. Maybe I should have used the glitter glue. Okay, it isn't like Kaleido's normal. Um, I think this is a little bit similar to Escape Pod palette. It's kind of flaky, but at the same time now when I build it up, it looks really good, but it's not that creamy as in uh, most of the Futurism palettes, there are six pen palettes, but and I haven't watched any videos on this, like any videos, because I didn't want to know what people thought about it before I could have it in my hand. I'm going to take this lid mirror. This annoys the crap out of me. 
So <laughs> I'm happy with the lids on this eye like that. So I'm going to start with the other eye. So I will take this one in my crease, deepen it down with this and take it in my outer corner and have this on my lid. So going to see how this will go. So I'm taking, I'm going to use the same brushes for all the shades. And this is Peach Soju. Soju. I like that this is like a kind of a dirty pink and not uh, like a bright pink. I like that. And I, it was almost with this. I, I really liked how the palette looked because I've talked about before that I want a 420 palette from Melt Bad. For the formula is shit. So when this, they show this and like I love Kaleidos and these shadows were in, I was like, yes. So where was I going with that one? It is like, it's so warm in Sweden right now and I am this person that hates it. I like can't function at all. It's like my brain stopped working, as you heard. So I will go in with. So I will go in with this one. Okay, so maybe I was planning on saying that I know like the green corner would be good because they do green goods, but like pink, they haven't done that many pinks. I'm going to deepen this down. And I wonder if I am going to look crazy. But yeah, okay. <laughs> I was most excited about the lip products, almost. Even though the palette looked amazing. But like, I have all the other lips that Kaleidos has ever released. And do you hear my share? And it's some of my favorites. I know that it's a new formula on these ones that are in these kits. But like... I don't think they can do a bad lip formula. I'm excusing the seagulls outside. If I could decide one thing in the world, it would be to kill all the seagulls. I hate them with a passion. And when people like, oh, you live by the ocean. Yeah, I live with seagulls by the ocean. So I went with stained glass this one and put it on the rest of my lid. And we will see what kind of shimmer this is. Now when I'm taking the brush, it looks like the other one. But it packs on good on the brush. Ooh. This is like a little hint of a... Blue, purple, and it feels like the same as this one. A little bit more flaky. I think this would have been better with a glitter primer. I think it would look a little bit cooler and like getting all the dimension of the shadow, but this works. And I think it looks really good. Do I look like a crazy person? Probably, yeah. Okay, so I'm done with... Okay, I'm going to put on the lid so I don't poke any of the shadows. And this is stupid. So, okay, I am going to fix up my base and my brows. Take away the fallouts. And we do the under eyes together. I think I would just like do the same so I get two super different eyes <laughs> and put something in my inner corners and then try all the lipsticks. For my under eyes I am going to take off the annoying lid. I'm just going to take the shade that I had in my creases so golden age this one and peach soju on the other eye. And then you just have to wait and see. So I start with the green one. Yep. 
tap it off because I don't want any fallouts. I might go in with a darker shade. I'm sorry, wait. I had a fan on. I had a fan on. A fan on, I didn't even realize that. I needed to have it on when I was putting on my makeup, my base, because it's warm as said. But I think it sounds too much. So I think this looks good. But I want to go in with the dark one when I have out here just to connect. So I'm just taking the earth ship. This one. Tap it off and then smudge it. So and then for this I am going to take this one, Peach So You and Novo. Novo? So sorry. I'll start with the peach. The light one. So and then for my uh, inner corners. So for my green eye I'm going to take chlorophyll and for my pink eye I'm going to take mint fever. Don't know how, how it will look but we are going to see. So I start with the green one and this looks really cool on the brush. Tap it off and then I take it in here. I think it would be cool to mix this with one of the pinks. So I'm taking mint fever. It looks kind of cool. So I am super happy with this. So I'm going to take something in my waterline. Oh, I love this inner corner. I hope that you can really see it. So I'm going to take something in my waterline. I don't know if I want to take to match the eyes. To take the other way around. Or just take a neutral that like goes with both of them. I think I might do that. Put on mascara and then we go into the lip swatches. For my waterline I took Honey Dude from Colourpop on both of my waterlines just to look a little bit more awake. And now we're going into the thing that I think is the most scary with this. So they came out with two lip sets and these are a new formula. And it's the more neutral one and the more crazy colors, I guess. So I think I will start with this. And this is Sandcastle. And the only thing, like, you can't see. I don't think you can see that much of a difference, like, in the component. And uh, I don't know what I feel about that. Because their old ones were also like frosted plastic, but here you can see, maybe I should show you two different. Here you can see the difference between the two colors. So that I think, I just did. <laughs> okay, so Astrid wants to be in here today. Uh, so I will swatch all these on my lips and we will see how they my lips will look after a while. So I'm going to start with the first one that is Adobe. And they have changed the applicator. It's one of these with a little hole in. I think Body Shop and If Star has similar ones. Okay, so I'm just going to try this. Okay, so these are really like uh, NYX, what was they even called? Soft Matte Lip Cream, if you do remember them. They are like a mousse and I feel a little bit, not sticky, but not completely dry. Maybe they will dry down. It's not my favorite kind of lip products when they are like a mousse. I love Kaleidos, others that are more like a lip stain. But yeah, this is Adobe. Adobe? Adobe. And yeah, it's it's a nice neutral color. 
and it feels good on the lips but I don't know if I'm super thrilled about the formula or the texture of it but I think it looks good now we're going to see how this is to take off it wasn't that bad to take off so the next one is Dune and I have no idea how this will look this looks a little bit darker and maybe a little bit more cold tone Okay, not a good application, I don't know what happened. I got like too much and then I was smacking my lips together and it went all up here. So this is more cold tone one and this shade I really do like. So this is Dune. I like it. So far, this is my favorite of Drive Tested 2, but Dune is... It's more cold tone and I like that they are pretty opaque actually so yeah so the next one is Terra and what I can see down here it looks pretty brownish orange and yeah pretty orange so we will see how this pretty brown orange terracotta maybe Okay, this is a pretty unique color for my collection. No, I don't know, it's not my thing. It's brownish orange. No, I don't think that this is my thing. This is like one of the colors that I think look amazing on others and like really, really cool. And then I try it on myself and I'm like, mm, no, this is not my thing. So, not a favorite, but maybe with like another eyeshadow, maybe like something that matches, maybe brown eyeshadow more, or like bronzy one, but with this one, no, and I don't, I don't think this color suits me that good, so this is Terra. And the last shade for the Sandcastle bundle is sienna and maybe this is the darkest one i don't know this looks also a little kind of brown so this is also a little bit brownish and this is more my kind of brown i i like this color actually i think it looks really cool and it is a little bit special but it's not like super strange <laughs> Do you get what I mean? I actually really like this one. So this was Sienna and I think this is a good color. Maybe not to this eye look, but if we're doing more neutral eye, I think this would look really, really good. So this one, I yeah, I like this one. And the next kit is Flora Noir and this is, this is the one that I've been looking forward to. And these are blue instead. You can guess that I am thrilled about this, so I will just hop into this and I am so, so excited. Kaleidos has two other red lipsticks that I love. This is Cactus Flower. Maybe this is a little bit more pink, yeah. Okay, so this is a pink one. And, uh, uh, yeah. Okay, this is not my thing. Pink lips is not my thing. And it is this thing that bothers me a little bit with this it doesn't look that pink here and uh, it is really pink on the lips i don't like it pink is just not my thing when it comes to lipstick it doesn't look like off but i i don't like it so it's a good pink if you like pink but for me i do not like pink so i don't like it but the color is, it's a good pink, but as I said, pink is not my thing. The next one is the blue one, and this is Agave. Ooh. Okay, blue is not my favorite on my eyes, and not on my lips either, but yeah, we will, we will see. Okay, so this isn't that opaque as the other ones. This I had to like build up, and no, I don't like this. I, I don't think it suits me like my complexion I think I look paler and 
The other ones has been really opaque, like the pink was super opaque, but this one it's not that opaque and I don't I just don't think this color. It's a cool color, I think, and on others I really like it, but on myself I do not like it. So this is Agave. I think this is my least favorite just because it's not my thing. And it was a little bit more tricky because it wasn't opaque on one stroke as the other one has been. So not my favorite. And okay, that did stain a little bit. Good that we only have two left. The next one is mah Mahogany. And I guess this is going to be a dark brown maybe. And we have already established my feelings about brown lipstick. Okay, maybe I have to change my mind about brown lipsticks. I think this look cool. I think I never have tested such a dark brown lipstick actually. I'm not sure, but I don't think. This is dark, but I don't think it's like super brown in one way, but it is dark brown. But I think I like this actually. I don't know if this is like a gateway to brown lipsticks for me, I don't think so, but this one, I do like. I like that it is really dark, but it's not a black, and it's not like too light for being a brown. I think that has been the problem when I've tested brown lipsticks, that I think they have been too like brown, but I actually think I like this one. I think this would look cool to do like an everyday look and making it a little bit cooler i don't know or maybe to a grungy green eye i don't know but i like this more than i thought i was going to and this is mahogany so it's time for the last one that is dahlia and this i hope is a red one it is a red one i'm happy that this is the last one because my lips are kind of sore so okay, do I love the red one? Yes, I do. <laughs> so this is Dahlia, this is absolutely my favorite. I'm glad that it's the last one because this is what I'm keeping on my lips and uh, my lips are a little bit sore. So I'm going to do like a first impression review with the palette, the packaging. I hate it, <laughs> the color story, I really like it. And I think like the mattes feel like the normal mattes and the two shimmers that I've used, this one and this one, feels like some of the shimmers in the skate pod and in Sashimi City and Lunar Lavender. So not like these super creamy that is in Sci-Fi Green for example, but a little bit more sheer but they, as you can see, you can build them up. but. They're kind of flaky and it feels like I have glitter flakes all over my face. But yeah, I like the palette. I'm going to do more looks with it. So yeah, the only thing that I don't like is the packaging. So if we go into the lipsticks, I feel like the darker color I had, it needed a little bit more build up. I don't know what I think about the formula because moussey textures is not my favorite when it comes to liquid lipsticks or moussey lipsticks maybe you should call it then. But it's not my favorite and I don't know how this will hold up. Their old or yeah, the older formula they have they are more like stains and you got like you get like a stain on your lips. I really love them. But I'm absolutely going to try this more. I will have this on for a while to see how like it holds up and I'm going to eat and I can leave down in the description how it holds up when I ate. But it feels like it's going to move around and it's going to transfer because it is a mousse and not a liquid lipstick. But I think it's fun that they are doing new ones and I feel like they have stepped it up with doing nudes that can fit more than like up to medium 
medium like the mahogany I think that will suit very many people and go as like a new lipstick on deeper complexion so yeah I like them not all the colors the formula I don't know yet I have to decide it feels good on the lips I can't complain about that but I am one of these persons that really like dry down liquid lipstick so we'll see i will keep this on but the only thing i don't like with the packaging with this one it's it's hard to see which one is which and it's like hard to see that this is a really bright pink and i think it's going to be hard with especially this one the ones that i tried first to see which one is which one and I think the packaging is good looking, I have nothing to complain about it, but like it's hard to know which one is which one, so you have to like learn the names. That is the only thing I have to say about the lipsticks, but I think that these are really good. This is like tin, and I don't know if I will keep this ones, but I like those. And Kaleidos is good in the packaging. So okay, that was all for this super long video. I am so warm, I really hope you liked it, and what do you want me to do with a new palette? I think I might do two looks one palette with it. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do, so you don't miss any of my videos, and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!